I don't put me on hold. You're the third person I've spoken to today, by the way. I have water. I don't have hot water. Do you understand there's a difference? Can you get me some sugar, honey? Okay, great. Then help me, please. I had icicles in my hair this morning. Do you know what that's like? No. Oh, 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 hey, are you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, come on. Daniel! Tomorrow, please, thank you. I... I'm so sorry. Uh, apologize to this nice lady. Boys will be boys, it's fine. Really. No, it's not. Daniel, say you're sorry now. Or do you want to end up on the naughty list? I'm sorry I ran into you. That naughty or nice list really works, huh? What's she it, talking about? Nothing, honey. I'll be right back. I'm guessing by your lack of stained sweatpants and bloodshot eyes, you don't have children? No, I don't. You probably popped right up after eight hours of sleep, took a nice, long, hot shower. Actually, no, my hot water heater is on. Leisurely got dressed, applied your perfect makeup while watching Good Morning America. That is so not my life. I love my children, but parenting is all your nightmares combined. The one trump card parents have is that kids know Santa keeps a list. So yes, the naughty or nice list still works. The world is a better place because of it. Next. Hi, can I get a, a large vanilla latte with a shot? Can I get three shots of espresso and a mocha cap to go? Okay. Thank you. 775, please. Thanks. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Chrissy Kringle? Like Chris Kringle? <laughs> That's awesome. You want some milk and cookies to go with your latte? I can get you some carrot sticks for your reindeer. Do you think any of that is original? <laughs> Sorry, St. Nick. Credit card's been declined. Seriously? Seriously. Well, I don't have cash. Oh. There's... Uh, I need another quarter. Come on. Thanks, kid. You're off the naughty list. Morning, Michaela. Morning. Hey, Jack. Hello. Hi. Hi. Everybody's a comedian. Hey there. Hi. The usual. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. You look nice. Oh, meeting a friend for lunch. Does that say triple shot? Hmm. Mm. Rough night? Rough morning. Jingle, jingle, Miss Chrissy Kringle. And it continues. She's heard them all, Philip. Run along now. Helen needs to see you in her office ASAP. Get your sleigh bills over there. Thank you, Philip. Bye-bye. Oh, how do I look? Like promotion material? I don't have any hot water at my house, so I'm a mess. You look great. You really think you're gonna get it? I don't know. I mean, I've brought in three new accounts in the last month, and the rumor is they're gonna hire from within. And two days ago, Helen smiled at me in the bathroom. No teeth, but the corners of her mouth did go up. Go get it, girl. Miss Kringle. Yes. We're setting you free today. You can pick up your final check from accounting. Thank you so much for your work. Have a good holiday. I'm sorry, did you just fire me? We've released you. Yes. Released me. Like an animal into the wild. Why? Cutbacks. Cutbacks? That's it. Because I have been bringing in new clients every month. Thought I was getting a promotion. No. No, you know what? You just, you can't, you, you, you should know that. 
You are going on the naughty list. <laughs> Fired? Released. Returning me to my natural habitat, unemployed and going nowhere. I thought this was it, you know? I thought this was a place I was gonna make a name for myself. I'm clever-ish and funny and smart, right? Don't say anything if you don't agree. I agree. God, and right before Christmas, I knew her heart was made of ice, but this is really cold. I know. Well, I let her have it. Oh, my God. Tell me what you said. I told her she was rude and oblivious and just angry. And then I said a bunch of stuff I can't even repeat. You did not. What I actually said was more like, you're gonna end up on Santa's naughty list. <laughs> naughty what? She's intimidating and I'm weak. I'm gonna die in the wild. Maybe you should go back in and give her a time out as well. <laughs> you know what? They take all our best ideas. We never get a raise or a bonus and nobody gets promoted. Maybe this is a good thing. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I literally had to borrow change from a seven-year-old today. Lance is making money. I mean, he's almost a partner by now, right? Yeah. yeah but I'm not going to take money from him until we're married. It's been six years. I mean, how long should a girl have to wait? Apparently six years. Oh, yeah, my mom's going to freak out. I mean, now I'm unmarried and unemployed. I know this seems terrible right now, Chrissy. You'll land on your feet. Give me a call and we'll grab drinks or something. Thanks, Joe. Dear Santa, thank you for visiting me in the hospital. You forgot this. I know it's important for your job. Merry Christmas, your friend Katie. Katie. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. I'm sorry about your job. I tried to get out earlier. Oh, it's okay. I just didn't want to go to mom and dad's for dinner by myself. I can hear the lecture already. Don't tell him. <laughs> you know nothing gets past her. She's like a mind reader. 
Yeah, just go with the don't ask, don't tell policy and hope she's having an off night. Yeah. You make it to dessert without any mention of your job, you'll be home free. <laughs> Reindeer. Debbie's really going all out this year for the title. That's impressive. She's not taking any chances. She tried to get real reindeer. Apparently, they require a permit. You know, Miss Kringle, you should really get into the spirit. I'm getting a wreath. A wreath? A wreath! You're a Kringle. Be better than a wreath. Stop it. Everyone thinks I work with elves. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm just saying. It fits my mood. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> I made one for Chrissy, too, but she hasn't worn it yet. Oh, come on, come on. Food's ready. You guys just want to start with dessert? <laughs> thank you, Carol. Thanks, Mom. That was wonderful. Oh, thank you, Dad. He did most of the cooking. And now the reason we have a main course in the first place. No sugar. It's the holidays. Every day's a holiday to you. Well, what do you expect? I'm a Kringle. So it wasn't so bad. We're almost there. You're almost there. <laughs> portion control. Your portion control would starve a mouse. <sighs> Here. Thank you. And I assume the other one didn't fit, so this one's a little looser. <sighs> try it on. Yay, bigger. I'll try it on at home in private. I really wish you'd get into the Christmas spirit, sweetheart. Oh, of course you do. It's why you named me Grizzy Kringle. Oh, come on now. Everyone always thinks that's adorable. Daily. You were named after a legend. Mother Teresa is a legend. We could be actual descendants for all you know. Yeah, don't be such a sourpuss. You're the one who chose to live on Candy Cane Lane. No, no, no. They voted to change the name to Candy Cane Lane after I moved in because of this holiday house contest. Now every December, I can't even open my front door. But you know, I think it's so sweet that kids still mail their letters to Santa Claus. Sure, it's adorable. Except all those letters end up at my house. Well, you could always sell the place. I can't. I'm totally upside down like everything else in my life. What's the matter? Hmm? Nothing. You got fired. What? How does she do that? It's a gift. It's a curse. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were getting a promotion. You've been talking about this for weeks. Yeah, what happened? I don't even know. She said it was cutbacks. But that doesn't make any sense, because there's still a position open. It's just before Christmas. Well, what are you going to do for a job? I don't know. I mean, look, I'll figure it out. It's fine. Let's just talk about something else. I'm going to help her out till she gets on her feet. You are not going to help me out. I am an independent woman. I can handle myself. You know, this really wouldn't be an issue if you two were married. Um, really? Well, you know, I, I would like to plan my daughter's wedding. Is that so wrong? It is not 1950. Women have other priorities than getting married. It will happen when it happens. And I am not going to take no for an answer. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> where is she going? She won't take no for an answer. I promise you. Now look, your independence is not going to pay the mortgage or buy gas or, or, or put food on the table. Should have never bought that house. Wait, you are the one that told me to buy that house. You said, Chrissy, now is the time to buy. And she is the mind reader in the family. How come she didn't predict the crash? Well, she does, doesn't see everything. You said if we got to the pie, we'd be home free. We should have skipped dessert. Mm. Okay. Well, what is this now? That is your next job. It's only temporary, but it'll do to something better comes along. Wrapping presents at the mall. 
I'm not doing this. It's too late. I already texted Gloria. Her grandson is the manager. I told him you would be there at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Mom! Hey, come on. It's a perfect job for a Kringle. Okay, you understand in other countries, they force prisoners to wrap presents. It's a form of torture. No! Don't be so dramatic. I'm sure that Lance agrees with me, don't you, honey? Don't. <laughs> And you get to wear a cute little elf costume. Oh, that is definitely not happening. I think elves earn an extra 20 bucks a day. Seriously? Do you want to come inside and watch an old movie or something? I can't. I have a pile of research, a big deposition of mine. Sure. It's okay. It's fine. Don't be mad. I'm an associate. It won't be like this forever, I promise. So why were you so quiet when my mom asked about us getting married? So that's really why you're upset. Because I didn't jump up and tell your mom that she has a wedding to plan. Your silence was deafening. I don't talk about weddings, Chrissy, because you hate them. What? You, the overcooked steak, <laughs> the chicken dance, the shout song. Everybody hates that stuff. My wedding's not going to be like that. It is going to be different, OK? Most girls want to get married so they can have their own personal prom. I just, oh, I just want a new last name. <laughs> so you're using me? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I love you, Chrissy Kringle. Come here. I need you, too. Good night. Debbie? What are you doing? Oh, just some last-minute decorating. Oh, candy canes. It's not really your theme this year. Yeah, I know, right? No, these won't, these won't work at all. You know, a porch light doesn't count as a decoration. It's a shame that someone with such a festive last name is such a Grinch. This is Candy Cane Lane. Show some respect. It was not Candy Cane Lane when I moved in, okay? You are the nightmare before Christmas, Chrissy Kringle. Yes, you are. Hello? Yeah, this is the plumber. Is this Chrissy Kringle? This is she. That's your real name? Yes. Chrissy Kringle, Candy Cane Lane. Yes, Chrissy Kringle, who lives on Candy Cane Lane. My man, you there? Oh. other people's mail.
Hello? Hello. Miss Kringle? Who is this? Dean Patterson. Patterson Plumbing. We were cut off. Dean Patterson, right. I'm sorry. Yeah, look, uh, Miss Kringle, I'm, I'm sorry, but my truck broke down. I'm not gonna be able to fix that water heater today. Heist a customer about truck breaking down. What? What was that? Are you in your pajamas drinking coffee? What? What are you talking about? Plaid pajamas? No, I'm serious. I'm sitting here waiting for a tow right now. You're lying. No, no, I'm not. Yes, yes, you are. You're on your couch, aren't you? Admit it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I had a late night. I'm going through some stuff. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be there. Okay. Okay. The water heater's out back. And don't overcharge me. I won't, I won't. For all now. the Minotaur first, then we get to the wizard. Hi. Oh, no, I'm surrounded. Hi. I'm Chrissy. Joe Chin. Hold on. You're 15 minutes late. I know. I'm sorry. It was, um, it was a strange morning. I mean, like, beyond strange. I'm just, I'm in a bit of a fog today. Well, Graham said you're going to be an elf. Yeah. Is your last name really Kringle? Well, then you found your calling, mate. <laughs> Put this on and meet me in Santa's workshop. Oh, wow. Where is that, exactly? There's signs everywhere. Uh, are you... Uh, okay. Good. <laughs> what? You think I like all these extra decorations in my office? Is there no place else to put all this junk in the entire mall? I'm the only one that's got to walk through this minefield because, hey, Justin won't care, will he? Well, I do care. Hey. Come on, come on, pick it up. Marco, meet Chrissy Kringle. Wow, you got a stage name and everything. It's my real name. Sorry, I thought you were kidding. Well, welcome to the Fun Factory. Hey, keep it cheery, mate, or I'll make your way to head. All right, Marco will show you the ropes. For now, start rapping. Let's go. What's his story? Well, to start with, he speaks with an Australian accent, yet he is not Australian. Shall I go on? What? Yes, please. Yeah, rumor has it he watches Crocodile Dundee every night, and then on weekends goes on walkabout. Amazing. Yeah. Name a complex, he's got it. So how come the ladies don't have to wear elf costumes? That is a fair question. The blue hairs work at the senior center, so they don't get to be as fashionable as we are. Hey, Ruth. Hey, Phyllis. How's it going? They can't hear me. Uh, oh, did uh, he tell you that the elves have to work at Santa's photo gallery as well? What? Yep. Put on a happy face. You're gonna need it. No, no, I'm not trained to work the photo gallery. Oh, okay. Well, question. Do you know what this word means? Yeah. Great. And can you do this? Mm-hmm. Okay, wait for it. And then back again. Got it. Guess what? You just got trained. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Got another love for the elves. What? I thought it was break time. We were 15 minutes late. That was your break. Another hour and a half till lunch. What is this, Santa's workshop or Santa's sweatshop? You know what? Let's get out of here. He's gonna be trying to level up for the next hour. Let's go, come on, let's go, let's go. Honestly, I thought my old boss was bad. I went from Helen of Troy to a Napoleonic elf. Who's also a liar and a cheat. What are you talking about? All right, well, the wrapping station is sponsored by the Senior Center. Uh-huh. Justin's grandma is the chairwoman. 
So that's how he got his job. Well, I figured it wasn't based on merit. Okay, but they used to give a petty cash fund for the managers to buy snacks and drinks for the staff. That's sweet. Right? So where are the snacks? Exactly. Ever since Justin took over, he's like, oh, sorry, mate, we'll stop doing it. You know how it is. He throws around the word recession like he knows what it means. So you're saying he's stealing? I think so. I, but I can't prove it, so what is enough to do? I got bills to pay just like everybody else. Don't want to go rocking the sleigh. Hugging a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious, Ruth. <laughs> and Phyllis, I heard you took second place at the Gin Rummy Tournament last weekend. Congratulations. That's fantastic. <sighs> Excuse me, ladies, one second. Are you kidding me? I've seen five year olds rep better. Let me explain. You fold it straight, one piece of tape. You use more than one piece of tape, you're doing it wrong. Keep doing it wrong and you're fired. Understand? Or should I speak slower? Good. Keep up the Christmas cheer. Head on. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Chrissy! Justin Reed. Please go back to the workshop. Okay. Um, sorry, is this about that thing that I told you about? Because that's just between you and me. It's okay. Where's the money? What is this, a shakedown? The petty cash from the senior center. I told you, cutbacks and recession. Oh, you're sure about that? Wait, what? <gasps> Justin! You thief! What would Grams think, Justin? Don't tell Grams. If she finds out, she'll cut me off. Please, I'll do whatever you want. It's okay. We're not going to say anything on three conditions. One, you are going to buy the staff snacks and lunch for the rest of the week. Yeah, and that means actual food, something that's not going to make us diabetic. Two, show some respect. Stop demeaning everyone. I do that? A lot. Three, you're gonna let me borrow all these extra holiday decorations. You're gonna take all of this stuff out of here? No, no, mate. You are. My address is right here. Forget that. I mean, it's cool. We can call Grams. Yeah, we could totally call Grams. She's really good friends with my mom. No, 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 fine, fine. You win. Um, Marco, order lunch for everyone. With pleasure. <laughs> There you go. That's better. That was sick. It really was fun watching him grovel. How did you know where the money would be? Are you psychic or something? No, no. I had some help. All right. Well, tell me about it over lunch. Oh, I have to meet my boyfriend. He's, okay. um, where's... He's actually not going to make it. Figures. Oh. Hey, it's all right. Look, you know what'll never stand you up? A sandwich. <laughs> my treat. Come on. Oh, I still can't believe you called him out like that. 
and blackmailed him. You should consider politics. We'll see how my yard turns out, right? Yeah, right. Uh, I need a turkey, no mayo, one wheat. I'll get a veg drop, gluten free. Excuse me. You guys not go to kindergarten? I <laughs> don't know how a line works. We were next. Oh, no. We're not going to get anything in our stockings this year. <laughs> Wait, so you actually walk around in public like that? Aren't you taking the whole holiday spirit a little too far? Hmm. Aren't you taking your makeup a little bit too... <laughs> Save our spots. I'll be right back. I have to get a picture of this. Putting this okay, one stop. on Facebook. Dude, stop. No, stop. Smile. No, okay, that's... Do, do not tag me. <laughs> it's for Hi. Tiffany. Brittany. Little holiday spirit for you guys. Brittany, stop telling everyone Tiffany's bulimic. She's not. And Tiffany. What? Stop texting Brittany's boyfriend. She's cheating on him. That's rude. Why would you do that? I, I would didn't. never do something like that. I can't believe you told people I was bulimic. I know I'm not anymore. I didn't say that. I, Happy holidays. I just, it may I have slipped out a long time ago. What do you mean but, slipped out? I, Things don't did, slip out. You I haven't said it in a long time. Okay, what is going on here? All right, are you, are you like a witch or something? It's a gift. Hi, we're next. Spill it. Don't tell me it's a gift. I wrap gifts. This is not a gift, all right? This is like voodoo You're or something. You're gonna think I'm insane. All right, don't make me use drastic measures. I don't even know what it is for sure. All right, don't think that I haven't learned some tactics from these kids, all right? I've seen moms break in seconds. I can break you. Fine. I will tell you, but you are the only person. Do you understand? Because if anybody else finds out, I will end up in the loony bin. Okay. I'm like Fort Knox, I promise. Number seven, please. What is this, your book of spells? Sort of. Can I ask you an honest and direct question? As opposed to a deceitful and ambiguous one? Proceed. That's funny. Thank you. Do you think there is a real naughty or nice list? The naughty or nice list? Every year, because of my name and the street I live on, I get thousands of letters intended for the real Kris Kringle. Right. I'm sorry, back it up. The real Kris Kringle? Santa Claus. Yes, I got the connection. So, just for argument's sake, let's say he really is watching us and he really does know whether or not we've been naughty or nice. I know how it sounds. Do you? Good. No, hey, sounds perfectly reasonable. Look, I do believe that somebody is watching over us and all that, but not Santa Claus, because I was raised Catholic. Can you just go with me here? <laughs> what if there is a little bit of magic this time of year? And what if the list is real and it's not just this thing the parents use to threaten their kids to behave? And what if it was accidentally sent to me? Those are a lot of what ifs. And you thought I wouldn't put you in a loony bin? Okay. Check this out. <laughs> All right. Marco Webb. Told girlfriend he was sick, then went to a sports bar? How does it know that? Sit down. And that, that is private. How? So crazy, but this might be the real naughty or nice list. Who else would have a book like this? The CIA. Because they care that you lied to your girlfriend. Hey, I am a pretty important guy, so maybe. All right. This just appeared on your doorstep? Yeah. And have, have you told anybody else? No, I don't want anyone. Look at that. You know, let's make it a two to go. What's the matter? Oh, God. It's my old boss and chill. That'll be 550. OK, there you go. Which one is Jill? Is she Foxy Blue or the Ice Queen? Just tell me when they're gone. OK. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, and she's looking at me. clear. What was that about? Foxy Blue is Jill. I worked with her at my old job at an advertising agency. Wow, you went from ad exec to elf. That is a letdown. I got fired, and now Jill is coffee buddies with the boss. Something's not right about that. 
Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You can't just wield that thing. Jill Rhodes. Or maybe you can. Stole promotion from Chrissy Kringle. Number eight, please. That backstabbing. All right, let's wrap this up before you all Vesuvius on us and cover us in ash. Are you tickets to go? Jill was my mentor. And I mean, I thought she was my friend. What do I know? You two ever go shopping together? No. Not a friend. You know what? You're right. She wasn't my friend. She stole my ideas. She passed them off as her own. She told Helen I was hitting on her husband. That's insane. He's like 50. Wait, so you knew him then? Yeah, we talked about reality television at company parties. Well, that can get passionate, especially if they're about any of the real housewives. <sighs> she betrayed me. I'm going to go in there on Monday and just tell them everything. Tell them what exactly? That you found Santa's naughty or nice list? They'll have you committed. And then what happens to the book if she gets her hands on it? Well, I can't just let her get away with it. That's fine, but we gotta be methodical about this. All right, now, probably got a line of kids waiting to see Santa. Let's deal with that, and we'll get back to Operation Kill Jill later. All right? Let's go. Let's go. Over the Justin. Debbie, hi. What do you think? Compliments the porch light, huh? Very nice. I love this little family of snowmen. They're so cute. Do you think I have a chance of winning the holiday house contest? Well, it's nice not to have a black hole on the street. I'm sure that's worth some merit. Hmm. I don't know. I think I've got a real shot. When do we vote? Check your newsletter. Huh. Excellent. your flowers thank you you're off the hook this time but call me okay there's um some crazy stuff going on i just want to talk to you about it i think Chrissy, your great, great friend, um, just wanting to get those drinks that we talked about. Uh, so call me back. I can't wait. Bye. Debbie O'Brien. That little boy. 
そう。Excellent. This winter wonderland is unbelievable. I know, right? Justin really did a good job. That Graham's must be a real gravy train. Well, I just hope it's enough to beat my neighbor Debbie over here. I'm calling out that kleptomaniac tonight. All right. Thank you for coming, by the way. Ah,、oh, please. This is better than Shark Week. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite the turnout. We're entering the lion's den. Ooh, maybe they got Kate Pops. Be right back. Marco, Chrissy. I love what you did to your house.、Oh. Everyone is talking about how beautiful it is. I posted it on Pinterest, and so far it has gotten over 2,000 repins. Wow! It's a sensation. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's everyone take our seats. The meeting is about to begin. Thank you. They've got mini cupcakes. Don't leave me alone with these people again. <laughs> what does that mean? I do not know. Take your seats, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, Candy Cane Lane neighbors. As you know, tonight we are going to select the best holiday house. But I think, with the huge turnout of spectators that we've had every evening, that it is safe to say that we are all winners. <laughs> Debbie, Chrissy has a question. Oh, Chrissy, I apologize. You never come to these things. You can imagine why I might overlook you. Oh, I just I didn't get a chance to cast my ballot. Oh, that's unfortunate. The ballot box was right over there by the dessert table. Oh well, that's why punctuality is the politeness of kings. Oh come on, Debbie, just let her vote. Yeah. It's so nice to have her join in this year. Let her vote. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Right, okay. It is Christmas. Please, bring your ballot to my assistant. By the way, you can't vote for yourself. Yes, Debbie, I'm well aware. Okay, this is so exciting, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the results? Here we go. Second runner up, winner of a 60-piece Tupperware set. 60. With four votes, Brenda and David Weir. That's great. <laughs> There's your Tupperware.、Mm. <laughs> Fantastic. You were gonna keep a lot of things fresh. <laughs> and now the first runner-up, and the winner of a one-year membership to the Cheese of the Month Club. Yum. <laughs> oh, with seven votes, Chrissy Kringle. Hey. Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> Congratulations, Chrissy! You see what happens when you participate? You win nice things. Noted. Okay, okay, okay. And here is the moment that we've all been waiting for. The winner. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's me. <laughs> With eight votes, Debbie O'Brien. <laughs> thank you, thank you all so much. It's such an honor. Hey, hey! Let's give ourselves a round of applause, huh? 'Cause when Debbie wins, we all win, don't we?、Uh, okay. Thank you, Chrissy. Yeah. Now I don't want to put a damper on the festivities, but I do have to raise just a small little concern. I'm actually missing some key pieces from my display. Does anybody know anything about that? Well, kids like to play pranks this time of year.、Oh. No, no, no. She has a point. I had a bunch of my candy canes go missing. Brenda, it is so funny you would say that. I saw Debbie with an armful of candy canes just a few nights ago walking across her lawn. Chrissy, is anybody else missing anything? One of my wise men and a camel are MIA. Yeah, and my, my North Pole gnomes have vanished. How about that? Now look, I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but my gut is telling me if we take a peek in Debbie's shed, we could probably solve this mystery. What? What? To the backyard! No, 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 everybody, follow me! Oh, this is crazy! This is... No, 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 
Everyone sit down. What are you doing? This is crazy. This is crazy. Go, go. Come on. This is ridiculous. Come back here. This way. What are you doing? Definitely been missing you. Get ready, everybody. Open the doors. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Holy moly. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. It's not what you think. I, I, I was going to give it all back. Under the circumstances, I propose we re-vote for the best holiday house. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. What? All in favor of my house, please raise your hands. Yeah, okay. She did a good job. Mm -hmm. All in favor of Chrissy's house, please raise your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Great to share. Fine. Yeah. Finally, Debbie's house. Yeah, I didn't think so. Looks like you lost your title. Congratulations, Chrissy! Debbie, you've disgraced yourself. I am taking my candy canes and my Tupperware back. That I won fair and square. Congratulations, Chrissy. Is my wife been in there anywhere? I'm sorry. Thank you. That's our, that's our, that's our, that's our, that's our, that's our, Well, that was my first Christmas lynch mob. Huh. <laughs> Kept waiting for somebody to yell, kill the beast. What? Oh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her, do you? I didn't have to humiliate her. Ah, she humiliated herself. Great. Oh, uh, don't tell me. Lance is working late again. <sighs> it's none of my business, but why do you keep putting up with that? It's not his fault. He's trying to make partner. He's just trying to make a good impression. It's just sometimes I wish he'd try to make a good impression on me. So, what's his deal? He doesn't want to get married until his career is where he wants it. He says he's getting a good bonus this year. Like, I care about that. So, do you ever think about, you know, using the list? Like, to give you peace of mind? If I do that, that's like reading his emails. Where's the trust? Look, if it were me, I'd want to know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Good night. It was, till I found out you were lying, cheating scum of the earth. Excuse us. You know what? They need to know your true colors, especially you, Mrs. Harris. If you're considering making him partner, you should know his true colors, right? Chrissy, stop it. I trusted you. For six years, I gave you everything, and this is how you repay me? By lying to me and cheating on me? you talking about? All those late nights you were working, you were really with Jill, weren't you? Guilty or not? Okay, that is not what you think. But I knew it! You just admitted it, it's guilty. Pussy, my boss is here. I know. Miss Harris, you're a lady. I'm sure you understand, right? <laughs> oh.
Excuse me. Big smile. That's a great one. There you oh, even better. There you go. All right, what's a mouse eat? That's right, cheese. Okay, all right. One more just for you. Excellent, all right, good job. Merry Christmas. Okay. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, no, up, now. That's not how we do things here. Did you hear me say next? I want to see Santa. All right, great. You're going to see Santa when it's your turn. What's the difference? That Santa's fake, and you're too big to be an elf. This is lame. Excuse me? I want you to know something. Santa's helpers come in all shapes and sizes, and some of us are just trying to make a living, OK? Whatever, lady. No, not whatever. I want you to know something. Santa has eyes everywhere, and nothing, I mean nothing, goes unnoticed. Do you understand? Chrissy! It's fine. I got it. He is watching and recording every naughty thing you do. And trust me, in your case, it is a huge collection. You're crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. Oh, that's funny, huh? All right. You think you can just lie and cheat and not be held accountable? You're so wrong. Because Santa knows all. He's got a list. And one day, you're going to wake up and think, oh, I'm going to get this great present for Christmas. But instead, you are going to be single and unemployed and too weak and intimidated to do anything about it. OK, all right. Oh, wait, here we go. Her blood sugar's way down. Where are your parents? Come on now. All right. What was that? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God, Marco, I'm sorry. I lost it. Yeah, that's a bit of an understatement. What happened? I checked on Lance in the book. He cheated on me with Jill. Yeah. I guess I would have lost it, too. Um, maybe not in front of Santa. It started earlier in the day. At Lance's business lunch. It was stupid. It was so stupid. I know that. But I was just, I was hurt, and I was furious. Lance isn't that guy. It's not like him. I wish I'd never opened the book. as it unfolds. Everyone's a little disappointed by the lack of snow in the mountains this year, but maybe now we know why it hasn't been a white Christmas. Things got pretty heated today when one of Santa's helpers had a meltdown at the mall. Shoppers captured this footage that went viral earlier today. Not be held accountable? You're wrong! Because Santa knows all! So one day, you think you're gonna get a beautiful present, but instead you were gonna be single and unemployed Out, you better not cry. This is one elf who will soon find out why. I'm Jane Lay. Mom, Dad. Oh, oh, your mom thought you could use some more ice cream about now, huh? How are you, dear? You guys know, huh? Of course we know. It's already gone viral on YouTube. This is about Lance, isn't it? She, who knows everything. Oh, Come on, tell us what happened, oh, sweetheart. Oh, Daddy. He's cheating on me. With Jill, that girl I told you about. The girl that stabbed me in the back and got me fired and took my job. Sounds like a country western song. Are, are you sure about Lance? I mean, it just doesn't sound like him. I'll say I have it on very good authority. Sweetheart, you know. This would not be the first time you've jumped to conclusions. No, but I... <sighs> and this affair is, is happening now? It's ongoing? I don't know. Does it really matter when? Could it have happened maybe two summers ago? 
When, when you took a break to find yourself. We were still together then. Really? Because I had a depressed boy calling me twice a day for over a month, asking how to get you back. He thought we were broken up? May I ask where you're getting all this information about his alleged tryst? Oh, I want to tell you. I want to tell you so bad. I can't, though. In Mom's hands, it would be a loaded weapon. Well, it sounds like it already is. Now, I would just say there's two sides to every coin. You flip it over, there's always another side. She's right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, come on, it's the holidays. I'm right. What a chip. <laughs> Lance Lee. This better be good. We don't go on the clock for another hour. I have a plan to fix everything. With Lance? With everyone. All right, I'm listening. What does this say? Is that a trick question? Something like that. Just tell me what it says. It says naughty or nice. Except it's not or. It's not one or the other. There's two sides to the book, two totally different lists. Meaning you only had half the story. I never looked at it from the other side. The nice list. Yes. I mean, nobody's perfect. Just because you're on the naughty list doesn't mean you can't be on the nice list a whole lot more, right? Fair enough. Lance wasn't lying. He really was working late nights. What about his little escapade with Jill? Yeah, they were together barely once when we were broken up. <laughs> what? I missed that part. Turns out I missed a lot with everyone. Even Jill? The woman volunteers at a convalescent home. She probably steals her social security checks. Well, I know she stole my job. Get this, she's been on payroll at a rival firm, giving them insider information so they can steal Helen's clients. Really? Mm -hmm. The plan is to cripple Helen's company, then buy her out, and then Jill will become a partner in the new firm. And the book had all of this? All of it, in great detail. This baby... Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, no, you can fix this. How? Listen, remember when you had your little episode in front of everyone and you said that you were gonna end up weak and intimidated? That is not the Chrissy that I met here on day one. That's because I had this. No, that is just a crutch. You've always had that strength inside of you. But I didn't have all the names and information I need to make my case. Okay. Well, it sounds like you need a good lawyer. Well, we know Mr. Hennessy was innocent because he was at a family reunion the night of August the 18th. Miss, I said you're not allowed to be on the premises. It's an so if we do our job, we can get him home for Christmas with his wife and lovely daughters. Hi! Chrissy! What are you doing here? Everyone, it's okay. I'll come in peace. I know that you hate me right now, but we really need to talk. This is not the time or place. Please, go home. Should I call security? No. Chrissy? Lance, I was wrong. I, I jumped to conclusions, and if I'd looked just a little bit closer, I would have realized that you were only with Jill after we'd broken up. I was crushed. I wasn't exactly myself. 
But Jill, really? No, 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 I'm sorry, I was wrong. You are the most generous, loving, kind man that I know. And he's not a liar or a cheat. In fact, he's the exact opposite. He's everything we look for in a man, including being very kind to a woman in the middle of a meltdown. Wait, you're the elf on the news. It's not my finest hour. Oh, that's her? Dance. I love you, and I'm sorry. I should not have done what I did. Please forgive me. You should go. Can you at least please come over tonight so we can talk? It's important. I'm not going to go until you agree. Fine. But we are not getting back together. I'll come by to pick up my things. Thank you. Thank you. It's a little late for that. No, 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 come on. You shouldn't have done what you did, but I was really wrong, too. Look, I know that you are a generous philanthropist who donates a substantial amount of money to a lot of local charities. That's supposed to be anonymous. Candy Cane Lane. I mean, we'd just be an ordinary street if it weren't for you. You can't leave. Do you know where this tradition came from? During World War II, wives and mothers would decorate a tree as a beacon of hope for their loved ones who were away at war. I didn't know that. My grandfather died in World War II. So this was my way to give back, a way for me to remember him. I realized that I went too far. And I know that's no excuse, but I meant no harm. Believe me, I have been doing a lot of that lately. Doesn't mean we can't fix our mistakes, though, right? Before you go, come over for coffee. Tomorrow, can we say, like, 3 o'clock? I'll try. Sounds like a yes. <laughs> OK. So, you saw it, then? It was on the evening news, Chrissy. Everybody saw it. Well, OK, to be fair, after the whole restaurant thing, I was pretty upset, and it was the last straw. I mean, I thought you cheated on me. We were broken up, right? I thought you were with somebody else in New York. Yes, there's never been anybody else. I know you're mad, and I would be too, so it's totally understandable, but this isn't about me anymore. I am really, really trying to do the right thing and help someone else out, and in order to do that, I need a good lawyer. Go ahead. You have my attention. Jill is conspiring with a rival agency to take over Helen's company. Everyone's going to lose their jobs. And I respect Helen. You know, she's a self-made woman. She doesn't deserve that. And you have proof? I did. And then I lost it. So if you can just do a little bit of research and find anything concrete, I can take it from there. Lance, I'm really trying to do the right thing, okay? Honest. All right. I'll research it. Well, I mean, you're leaving? I thought maybe you could stay and we could work on it together. I can't concentrate here. Oh. Is it because you still find me irresistible? Should you put that sign up outside? I have plans for that sign. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Good night, Chrissy. <sighs> Debbie. Hi. Please, come in. 
Oh, why is everyone here? It's for you. We want you to know how much we appreciate you and everything you do, not only for our neighborhood, but our entire community. We didn't know that you helped build a rescue shelter for animals. Or that you sponsored our school's music program. And lots of other charities without receiving any recognition. Until now. I, I don't know what to say. Say you won't leave. You think any of us want to organize the Easter egg hunt or the Valentine's Day party? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could take back what I did. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, Debbie, there is so much stuff I wish that I could take back recently. But when you care about people, you give them the benefit of the doubt. And because you always take the time to make every holiday so special, we all would like to make your house the honorary holiday house, not just this year, but every year. You know this doesn't mean that we're ending the Christmas decorating contest. Everyone here still wants to beat you. Yeah, that's right. Fair enough. Yeah. Thank you all for seeing the nicer side of me. Enough of the apologies. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Hey there. Hi. Congratulations, Debbie. I hope this means the hologram reindeer will be back in time for Christmas. Of course. I'll redecorate all night if that's what it takes. So, looks like you are on to something with Jill. I feel a butt coming on. But there's no paper trail. Without a bank statement showing that she's on another company's payroll, we can't prove anything. What do you need a bank statement for? Um, my former co-worker is trying to take down my old boss at Purcell Advertising by poaching her clients for a rival agency. What company? Pogue and Price. They're an ad agency and PR firm. I know them well. We do their payroll. Really? So, you could see if Joe Rhodes was working for them. I could definitely look into it. Why don't you come by my office tomorrow around 2? I'll see what I can dig up. Debbie. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm not doing it entirely for you. I also happen to know Helen Purcell, and she throws this huge Christmas party for underprivileged children every year. If she goes out of business, a lot of kids will have a miserable Christmas. Wow. I always thought she was such an ice queen. Well, there are two sides to every coin. <laughs> so I've learned. <laughs> thank you. So, looks like you really are doing the right thing. Well, I'm certainly trying. Mm. Does this mean that we're... No, you're still on the naughty list. <laughs> I bet Debbie wins best holiday office, too. Uh, where do you even buy a fiber optic Christmas tree? Uh, same place you get hologram reindeer. Yeah? Well, Christy, you are absolutely right. Turns out your friend Jill has been working for Pogue and Price on the side for over a year now. And here is your paper trail. That's public information, but if anyone asks, it just fell into your lap. My name is never mentioned. Absolutely. This is exactly what we need. Thank you. I gave a heads up to some of our clients who might have been affected. Really? Well, they're going to be looking for an honest agency. I told them I know a bright advertising executive and that we'd all be fools not to give her our business. Debbie, I don't know what to say. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm really happy we're still neighbors. Me too. Now go and talk to Helen. These companies don't want to stay in limbo for long. Thank you, Anonymous. So, um, how are you getting to the party later? Because I'm probably going to need a ride. Bless you. Oh, thanks, Chrissy. Wait, Chrissy? appeals to parents and they're the ones with the pocketbooks so let's make sure we take advantage of that um also we're hitting both demographics with this miss kringle what are you doing here i'm here to save your company what this is my my attorney this is purcell with the help of miss kringle i've uncovered some legal proof that you have a mole in your company and this mole has been selling key information about your clients to Pogan price and as a result Picking off your clients one by one. Who is this person? Helen, are you okay? I knew Chrissy would go postal one day. I just didn't think she'd involve you, Lance. Speak of the devil. If you take a look, you'd see that your employee, Jill Rhodes, is responsible for the leak. 
She's on the payroll at Pogan Price. If her scheme works, she'll be made partner. Helen, this is all a lie. Chrissy is severely delusional. We've talked about this. Delusional, no. No. Delusional is thinking you can still shop in the junior section. So, did you finally tell her about us? What little there was to remember. Enough. Miss Rhodes, these documents clearly show that you've been collecting a secondary salary for over a year. Helen, she's psychotic. She's got incriminating evidence. So, what, are you gonna release me? No. <laughs> I'm firing you. Security, please have Jill Rhodes escorted out of the office at once. Fine, do this. I'll take everything. It's not like I haven't already. That's not true. I actually have verbal commitments from all of these business owners who are eager to start accounts with your firm if... If you work here? You can't do this. I hope you have a good attorney. Don't worry. I do. Let's go. Thank you, Miss Kringle. And welcome back. Well, before I come back in from the wild, I have just a few requests. I'd like an office and a parking space and a 20% raise. <laughs> I was wrong to assume the worst, Chrissy. You're very talented and an asset to this company. I agree to your terms with one exception. The job comes with a 30% raise. I think I can live with that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know this might not be the best time, but Mrs. Purcell, I don't think I can play Santa Claus tonight. <laughs> okay, Philip, it, it, just go drink some tea. <laughs> You know, I think I can help. Um, I know about the charity work you do and the party you throw for the underprivileged kids. So, if you could just get them here at this time, I can schedule a private meeting with Santa. Are you serious? You know Santa Claus. I'm a crinkle. <laughs> for you guys. Santa Claus is coming all the way from the North Pole just to see you guys. Are you ready? Yeah? Good, because Santa Claus is coming to town tonight. And I think I see him. Ho, ho, ho! Yeah! This guy's pretty good. Have you all been very, very good? Yeah! Top reindeer paws, out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little ones' Christmas joys. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the housetop, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. First comes the stocking of little Nell. Oh, dear Santa, fill it well. Give her a doll that laughs and cries. One that will open and shut her eyes. Ho, 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 who would it go? Ho, 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 who would it go? Up on the house top, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good say Nick. Oh, hey. Justin, that fits really nice. Yeah, not bad, huh? It's more comfortable than I would have thought. Right? <laughs> Thank you so much for making all of this happen. It turned out really amazing. No worries, mate. <laughs> uh, glad I could help. Hey, make sure you tell Brands, okay? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, you look all ready for Christmas. You're very welcome. All right. All Come right. on out this way. Can we all say thank you to Santa? Thank, thank you, Santa. Santa. You're very welcome. Merry Christmas to you all. You continue to be good, and all your dreams will come true. All right. Santa's got a lot of work to do tonight, so say thank you again. Bye, Bye Santa. Santa. Bye, Santa. 
Ah, uh, this is very kind. Thank you. It's Christmas, that's what it's about, right? Merry Christmas to you. I hope Santa brings you something very special. Oh, he already has. Thanks. Can we all say thank you? Thank you! Oh, I'm so glad. Bye, guys. This has been a great holiday. I'm glad you came to work here, Chris Kringle. <laughs> Marco, I wouldn't have survived it without you. Ah, oh, please, I love the drama. I was glad to be part of it. Did you get to ask Santa for anything? I just went off the naughty list. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did that without Santa. All right. Merry Christmas. You too. Right. Hey, let me help you clean up. No, 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 I'll do it in the morning. It's my gift to you. Thanks. All right. Bye. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Bye. I love Christmas lights. I do. <laughs> Did you know that before electricity, they used to light trees with candles? That sounds like a fire hazard. Oh, it was. That's why I made sure that little Tommy Edison had everything he needed in his science kit. <laughs> this red suit is flammable, you know. Do you need a ride or anything? Oh, well, uh, no, I, uh... I have a ride. I came back for my book, Chrissy Kringle. Wait, are you? No, no, I'm sorry, that's, that's impossible. That's for you to decide. It's a magical time of year. And you help prove that tonight, right here with these kids. Alas, I must have my book now. Thanks. You can let go now. I'm sorry I ruined it. Oh, no. <laughs> you haven't ruined anything. I've had many cocoa spills over the years myself. <laughs> and I knew you would work things out, even without it. Wait, did you send it to me? Oh, no. I just let you have it for a while. <laughs> what did you say you wanted for Christmas this year? I wanted a new last name. No offense. Oh. I believe the last thing on your list was to be recognized for your hard work and talent and to be happy. That sounds familiar. And were you recognized? Yeah. And are you happy? I'm getting there. Everyone makes mistakes. It's how we respond to them that matters. Follow your heart and you'll always see the nice side of others first. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> and to you, a good night. because I wanted to tell you I accept your apology. So, does this mean you're my boyfriend again? No. I don't want to be your boyfriend. Okay. I mean, I... I understand.
I want to be your husband. <laughs> I've waited six years for this, since the moment I first laid eyes on you. Chris Hickering, will you be my wife? Is that a yes? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Well, I've been working so hard. I love it. I hope it's exactly what you want. You are all I ever wanted. Mm, well, that and my last name. Yeah, about that. Um, I was thinking maybe I would keep my name and just hyphenate it. Hmm, Chrissy Kringley. <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. I like it. I like you. <laughs> Machine, did you? I had nothing to do with this. I don't believe it. I did. It's wonderful. This is perfect. 